Hi, I'm Gabriel from ExoticWoodPen.com. In this video, I'm going to make a wooden bangle. This one's in Cocobolo. It's about three and a quarter inches uh, on the outside diameter, about a quarter inch thick wall, and about five eighths of an inch wide. And uh, I'm going to make it using uh, some curly spalted maple. And you can see what that looks like. Kind of get a rough idea of an outline. And we'll go ahead and get started. So in my lathe, I've got my four jaw Barracuda chuck uh, mounted. I just changed the jaws out. So that's just going to fit in here. We'll clamp that down. And uh, I've got about a half that thickness to work with. This is about three quarters of an inch thick, this blank. And um, in that and I'm going to cut the center out first I'm going to use a party tool just to knock out that center so I can save that and then we'll work our way down from there I'm going to do the outside uh, make it round and cut halfway through I'll flip the blank around and then I'm going to <laughs> Okay, I've got the outside where I want it now, so I'm just going to turn and then cut the inside. So as I'm going in on this 1 8 inch parting tool, I'm cutting a little bit wider gap back and forth, um, about a 16th of an inch wider. That way, that doesn't get a, you don't get a lot of uh, heat built up on that parting tool, and it makes a lot smoother, quicker, easier cut. And I'm about a quarter of an inch thick right there, so I'm just going to be able to introduce that a little bit further, and uh, we'll go ahead and flip it over and complete the cut. So I'm probably a little more than halfway down right here and you can see this as a depth if I go in right here like that so I've got another half inch of clearance which is what you see right there so I'm just gonna flip that over tighten it down and resume the same cut on the opposite side see the 
the core of that is pretty much saved. So there is my rough cut bangle. I'll just uh, flip it over, uh, see which side I like best, which shows more of the grain. I'm probably going to cut it back from this side and keep this side because I'll have I like the way this uh, the black line flows better so I can keep the whole line over here just sand it down a little bit and then um, we're pretty much good to go I'll just sand the inside and uh, then I'll switch switch the uh, teeth out after I do the inside and face it down and then uh, we'll work on the other side Oops. so let's put this back in the jaws so this is the side I want so I'm going to put that on the inside of the gear or the chuck So I needed to establish how thick I need it to be. So I'm just going to eyeball that right there. And I'm going to take about oh, less than a quarter off, off of that to give me the right thickness that I want. So mark that. the outside make sure that seam flat all the, all the way against the inside first Little, little cut of the ring save that for something and then we'll go ahead and smoothen that down on the inside or I'll shape it first okay so now that that's cut out I'm gonna sand this out on the inside flip it over sand it again and then just work on the sanding portion of it Okay, so I got one side sanded and flipped over. Okay, so the inside's done really good. And all I, I don't have a spacer on the inside. <clears throat> I, I could make one, but I'm just using my fingertips and just a little, with a little bit of practice. I sort of know where the, where the feeling is on that all the way around. So I have a relative easy gap. I, I just want a relief on the inside. So when I'm hitting it with the sandpaper, I can know I can hit both sides front and back and uh, have a little bit of overhang on the inside when I'm sanding that like this. So that's pretty good. Like I said, I already did that because uh, sanding is kind of boring. I did that off camera. So in the next section, I'm going to show the exact same thing, but I'm going to reverse the jaws on the chuck so that well, I'm going to hold it from the inside, not the outside, so I can finish sanding the outside. Oh. So before I do, before I do the outside, I'm going to finish the inside first. I'm just going to use some Hut Perfect Pen Polish, a friction wax polish. So I'm just going to burnish the inside and then flip it over and do the outside, and then uh, we'll 
complete that. Just the same thing as if I was finishing a, a pen. Get, get that right in there. Turn up the speed, the speed a little bit. See what that looks like. Watch when we take it out. Give you a close up. And you can see that does look pretty good. So we'll flip it over. I'll do the other side real quick. Okay, now all we just got to do is, uh, again, flip the inside around, the jaws, and then we'll finish the outside. Okay, the four jaw chuck. I switched out the, the teeth on here, the jaws, and I've got some double-sided tape. I'm putting on the outside of the metal, but I'm leaving the plastic on the outside of it. That way it's going to cushion, but not grip. This It's going to grip it, but it's not going to stick to it. So that's just going to slide on like so. Step that back just a little bit like before. Oops, go the other direction. soften up the outside corner of that one. I just want to flip that over and do the exact same thing on this side and then we'll put the wax on it. Even. Okay, I'll flip that around and do the same thing. Okay, so there we go. We have a pretty good looking bangle. And let me see if you get to see what that looks like. And you can see how I've got that line all the way across and into the face even. So thanks for watching my video. Like and subscribe please. Thank you.